Good evening from the center of the music universe where every year over 115,000 attendees converge to see the latest musical instruments, gear, electronics, and those must-have musical gadgets. Yes, I'm talking to you from NAM at the Anaheim Convention Center in beautiful Anaheim, California. I am super pumped to announce the official software release of Ape Lab's W app version 2, which works on both Android and hold on to your hats, ladies and gentlemen, the iOS platform. That's right, Apple users, rejoice. You can use any iOS device this coming Wednesday, the 22nd of January, with our W app device. We rewrote the entire application in a new open source programming platform called Flutter that was designed and built by Google. You might be asking, why does that matter to me? I'm glad you asked. Google's Flutter is an open source development platform that allows programmers to write code once and have it behave identically on both iOS and Android platforms. Now, Android and iOS users will get updates at the same time and our programmers don't have to be proficient in two different programming universes and they can use the time they save working on new features, updates, and improvements for both iOS and Android users at the same time. When you first open up the app, you'll find a familiar but slightly redesigned homepage where you can select a color using the color picker and then save it or load any preset or created color or programmed color sequence. The gear icon that was located in the upper right hand corner is now divided into tabs across the bottom of the screen. The first tab from left to right is the home button. The second tab allows the users to create an unlimited number of scenes controlling up to four groups at a time. The third tab enables users to build programs for up to four groups at a time. You can even include programs you've created when building scenes, which is really cool. The fourth tab can be used to create an unlimited number of RGB or RGBW colors with specific color values between 0 and 255. The fifth tab shows each device's serial number, firmware version, battery status, current assigned group number, and DMX value. And the last tab is the settings page where you can assign groups, DMX values, update your fixtures or W app to the latest firmware, assign the W app as a DMX transmitter, DMX receiver, or Uber RF device. You can also enable the power save mode to extend your fixtures battery life and check your current app version. Remember, you can find the new version 2 W app software at the Google Play Store or the App Store. Oh, and remember, keep it simple.